traveled to Costa Rica with our two kids, Riley, who's nine, and Brantley, who's six. We found some amazing things to do and thought we would share what we think is the perfect trip to Costa Rica with kids. We went towards the end of the rainy season, which meant things were a lot cheaper, but also a lot wetter. It honestly didn't slow us down one bit and we got some sunshine sprinkled in, but agreed that we would want to go during the dry months next time. Day one. We flew into San Jose, rented a car, and then got out of there as fast as we could. It was a long drive to our first destination, which was a secluded spot in the middle of the mountains in Cope. It was a rough ride with the kids driving on dirt roads and we arrived at our glamping dome that night. It was magical and so dreamy, like something out of a fairy tale, but also pretty rustic and we wound up sleeping with some critters. We woke up to a beautiful scenic view of the countryside. Day two. We woke up with the sun, made some coffee, and ate a nourishing breakfast overlooking the mountains. We explored a little around the cabin and then headed south to our main destination in Dominical. Dominical is a quaint little hippie town full of surfers and yogis and beach bums. It was just our style. We grabbed some groceries at the market in town and headed to our new home for the next seven days. We rented an Airbnb in Canto Del Mar, which was a gated community on a cliffside with the most beautiful view of the water. It was such a steal for the luxury we got. Panoramic views, a beautiful outdoor space, an infinity pool, and bunk beds in the kids' room. Each morning we would wake up to watch the sunrise and look for wildlife from the balcony. We saw iguanas, toucans, and algudi without even having to leave the house. Day three. The next day we headed on our first excursion where we traveled by horseback to see the glorious Nayaka waterfall. We rode the horses on a trail along the Baru River. It was great for beginners, but also fun if you ride because we got to run the horses a bit, cross through water, and climb up and down rocky hills. They let our six-year-old ride by himself, which was really awesome. Since it was the rainy season, swimming in the pool was challenging because of the amount of water coming down the mountain, which created a really strong current. Instead, the locusts told us where we could climb up and jump into the pool safely. It was a pretty easy climb and only about a five foot jump. The water was freezing, but jumping right under a pretty massive waterfall was exhilarating. It was the perfect first adventure to kick off the trip. Day four. We made an animal scavenger hunt on one of our drives of all the wildlife we hoped to see on our trip. So we headed to Manuel Antonio to see what we could find. We hired a guide, but would probably skip that expense next time and just bring some binoculars. There are hundreds of guides in the park and it's pretty obvious when they spot something. You can just stop where they stop and look up in the trees or look on your own if you're feeling adventurous. We saw sloths, howler monkeys, white-faced monkeys, a fertile ants, iguanas, and much more. Our favorite part of Manuel Antonio was probably the beach. It was a gorgeous day, so we soaked up the sun and body surfed for a while. We left our bag in the sand by the trees and wound up getting robbed by a monkey. We left our mark on the watchtower as we always do and then climbed up a barnacle covered rock pile to get an even better view of the waves crashing along the rocks. We recreated a picture Tyler and I took 12 years before while we were dating. We then got yelled at shortly after and decided it was time to get some food. We stopped at El Avion, which is a restaurant and bar that's been built in and around a C-123 Fairchild cargo plane. It had the most beautiful panoramic view and monkeys who walked the handrails looking for scraps. The food was great and next time we would definitely try to make it for the sunset. Day five. If you're in Dominical, you have to try surfing. 
There are a few different options for surf school, but we went with Dominical Surf School and would definitely recommend. They took us to Dominical Beach, taught us all about riptides, and then we headed out to the waves. We surfed the small waves for almost two hours and didn't want to quit. We even booked a second day so the kids could really get the hang of it. They were addicted in no time and had such great attitudes about learning something new. It was so cool to watch their confidence grow. Day six. After a couple of days at the beach, we were ready to head back to the rainforest. We suited up and got ready for a zipline and rappelling tour of the Osa Canopy. The tour included seven zip lines, 13 platforms, three rappelling stations, and two suspension bridges. The guides were so much fun and the kids had a blast. We soared through actual clouds and felt the water droplets they held splash our face. It was a great adrenaline rush and super cool watching the kids conquer something that seemed scary to them. They even chose to repel upside down, which some of the adults on our tour wouldn't even do. Watching them be brave was the most exciting part of all. Day seven. We couldn't have asked for more beautiful weather on our last day. We woke up early to make it to Uvira at low tide to explore the famous whale tail beach in the Parque Nacional Marino Bagina. We found some coconuts and enjoyed some fresh coconut water, played in the gorgeous orange sand, and found a cool hermit crab habitat. The whale tail is a result of converging currents that deposit sand on top of rock formations to create the tail-shaped pattern. What's even cooler is it's located in the exact spot where hundreds of humpback whales congregate each year. We celebrated our last night in downtown Dominicala at one of the best Thai restaurants we've been to anywhere. It had a great vibe and the food and drinks were amazing. It was a great way to end the day. Day eight. It was really hard to leave, but we got to enjoy the most beautiful sunrise of all before we headed out on our long travel day. We stopped at Crocodile Bridge to see the crocodiles in the Tarcoles River on our way back to San Jose. We've included the links to all the places we mentioned in the description. Thanks for watching and let us know if you have any questions in the comments. Stay tuned for more of our adventures and be sure to follow us on Instagram.